John Wilson is sharing a great local story of women coming together to start a business. And a tasty one at that. Wilson is live at Dolce Paradiso Bakery. I just love saying that. Mm. Dolce Paradiso. <laughs> Hello, Wilson. Dolce Paradiso. <laughs> I know, it sounds good. And you'd think <laughs> that I'd be hanging out with like, and they're playing opera up in here. It's, it's crazy. Listen, for a little on Indian Trail, they're very cultured. But here's the crazy thing. All right, Nancy here, you're from Colorado, right? Originally from Pittsburgh, but moved here from Colorado. Pittsburgh doesn't count. Colorado. Colorado. There you go. Good. I'm just kidding. Iron City. Uh, and Azeb here, you are from? Ethiopia. Okay. East Africa. So Ethiopia, mm -hmm. Pittsburgh, Colorado. Huh? Well, how, well, how, how did you all get together? We share a grandmother. Ooh, ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, uh, what happened was I was trying to make this into a... Uh, a bakery yeah. ran out of money. My landlord said, geez, we need to find you somebody to come in and put the final money in so yeah. you can open your thing. And he brought me this lovely uh, So then money, money bags over here, you can, apparently you're loaded because you're, you're the money of the whole operation. No, I'm oh, kidding. I'm kidding. But no, it was, it was a good, you, they, 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 we're going to get into more of the story, how they got together. They're, they're like, the, yeah, like their realtor got, it was, it was crazy stuff right here. And that's even before we get to the food, which looks absolutely amazing if you haven't had breakfast yet this morning. Oh my gosh, we're going to be making stuff. We're going to be having a good time. We're going to get into more of the story that's all coming up on Wilson's World. Back to you guys in the studio. And uh, hey, Tara, you hungry for forecasts on the force? Mm, that looks so delicious. But first, let's check in with a man who's trying to say no to cupcakes this morning. Hey, Wilson. <laughs> yeah, it's tough to say no. We're at Dolce Paradiso Bakery. And look at all this stuff. They are just getting warmed up. Those chocolate volcanoes, that looks so good right there. We're going to be baking some good stuff, talking about their cool story. Here you go, Mike. Get some right there. There you go. Most well-known thumb in all of North America. We'll have more coming up on Wilson's World in just a little bit. That's good stuff, isn't it? <laughs> Now back to Derek and Anna. 617 now this morning we find our John Wilson and Indian Trail at Dolce Paradiso Bakery. In between cannoli, easy clairs, and cupcakes, he's sharing a great story. Yeah, two unlikely women came together in order to make some dough. Huh? Eh, 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 dough eh. and, like and money. Okay. <laughs> Wilson, tell us more about it. No, and that really is a cool part of the story here. I mean, in this day and age, any small business owners, as you know, uh, you know, we salute you. Uh, but especially this kind of story, this is cool. There's a little girl power going on, which I dig. Azeb is here with me now. And it, I think people watching, that you're from Ethiopia, right, originally? Yes, yes I'm from uh, Ethiopia. You went, like, through all this. How many different places have you been before you ended up here? Oh, that's a long story. I've been in Cuba. Yeah. That's where I grew up. Uh -huh. Then went back home. Then I went to Italy. Right. That's where I learned my pastry, then came here. Now I'm here, just, you know, showing my... Uh, yeah, and you, you got a little one at home. You got a little one at home watching, right? Yeah, she's watching me right now. She's watching, because yeah. we had to figure out which channel and all that, make sure you got it. So go if you want to say hi to the little one this morning. Yeah. Hey, Ariam. Hey. I love you so much. This is we, mommy. We've already had like five phone calls going. Okay, so what are you getting ready to do right now? Okay, um, I'm gonna make now pastry cream. Okay. Which is uh, ready for my, um, any pastries that we use, any kind of pastry right. we use, this is what we use. So okay. it's an excellent, excellent cream. You, you get going on that, okay? You get working on that. I'm gonna come back over here and talk to Nancy, see what Nancy is working on. Nancy's kind of the Pittsburgh, Colorado, USA end of this deal. Yes, All right, yes. and it is kind of cool how you guys came together and, and everything. You kind of had it going, and you're, you're like, your real estate person got you together, right? Yeah, Jerry Clark, who's uh, the, the person who owns this building, I took over in September tore it all down yeah. to, to scratch and uh, by March I wasn't finished and was out of cash and mm. he was, it was very patient and didn't I I didn't pay any rent in all that time so they were getting desperate you know yeah so, so kind of do they just throw a go between I, I, I heard about together. this uh, another yeah. realtor yeah uh, a Zeb's realtor got together with Jerry he said do you know anybody that uh, might be wanting to do a bakery and take on a partner and so he came to me and said do you want to take on a partner and I thought yeah. I don't know this lady. <laughs> and now I, and now you do. What are you working on real quick? Uh, I'm making uh, chocolate eclairs. So chocolate? Oh, she, boy. She's making she, the pastry she's cream got that the will pastry. go in All right. Eclairs. We're just getting warmed up this morning. Chocolate eclairs to get you going here. We're going to be doing all kinds of sampling, all kinds of good stuff, finding more out about this story as well. We're down an Indian Trail this morning. That's Wilson's World. Are you hungry? Back in the studio.
Ah, uh, mm, yes. Yes. <laughs> Glued to the television. 621. Fake IDs, uh, so good that local clubs and liquor stores. Let's hey, good Wilson. morning. Wilson's World this morning. We're down in Indy. Hey, Derek, listen, I'm stirring right here at Dolce Paradiso. I'm making some pastry cream. We're going to find out about this really cool bakery down at Indian Trail and tell you some more of their story. Hopefully, I won't have an embarrassing moment. That'll be coming up on uh, Fox News Rising here in just a little bit. You hungry? Uh, Wilson is over an Indian trail at a girl power bakery having cookies and cupcakes for breakfast. We're going to check in with him in just a moment. Take a look at all that goodness. More FNR in just a minute. is the time. It's always nice to see you here at Fox News Rising. Derek James and I'm Anna Coyman. Well, it's a good old girl power story in Wilson's world this morning. Yep, Wilson is hanging with the ladies at Dolce Paradiso, uh, Paradiso Bakery. And doesn't that mean, I think it's Sweet Paradise, am I right? I know the Paradise part, but is Dolce Sweet? Sweet Paradise. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> If we say it on TV, it's true, right, Derek? I think if we, I think it is. I think, I think Derek's right. I think, I think, yes, I think that is true. Dolce Paradiso here on Indian Trail, ladies and gentlemen. Now, now, listen, I want you to just, just hey, if you're just getting up this morning, if you're just laying in bed, this will get you going. This will get you up. We're down here at Indian Trail, like I said, just some really great stuff. Nancy, tell me about some of these things right here. What are you guys really known for? We sell uh, our Napoleons. I saw a lot of Napoleons. You like the Napoleons? They're fabulous. My, like my granddaughter, Landon, when she comes in here, she yeah. says to people, just saying, I recommend the Napoleons. Napole now, listen, one thing, these over here, because you're originally, you got some Pittsburgh connections right here, and yeah. we're going to get into some of the story. We got a little Pittsburgh, a little Colorado, a little Ethiopia going on here. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Why would people up there know buttercream mint sandwich candies? Boland's Candy Store was like the main candy store in Pittsburgh. Okay. And uh, every year at my grandparents' house, they would put out this tray of wafers. Right. My siblings and I would all fight for the red ones, right. the cinnamon. Right. And one of my siblings said, could you please see if you could get their machine? And yeah. I said, I'll try to make them by hand. You got it. So I got them in so here by hand. So you're ripping them off. I, I ripped them I off. I love it. It's great. It's, all, it's a grandma thing. Now listen, Azeb here is from Ethiopia. You spent some time in, in Italy on all that. Come, come back here just one second. You, you're known for your biscotti right here. You learned to make the biscotti in Italy. What is biscotti? What is that mean? Uh, biscotti means, uh, bis means double. Uh -huh. Cotti means cook. So it's a cook, double, double oh, cook. Oh, that's why it's so crispy. That's why it's crispy. Oh. So you have to dip it in, in a coffee. It's oh, a delicious. Like that. Now it's listen, listen, good. we got the OO -oh cookies over here, and we were just talking about embarrassing moments on the show. Well, what's the story with the OO -oh cookies? Well, actually, they're called OO. OO, okay. OO uh -oh, is my grandmother. That's a four generation family favorite right. of, of our family, and uh, it's the first thing I ever cooked was OO -oh cookies. And oh. we, my siblings are so excited that we're actually making money from OO -oh cookies at, at Long Glass. That's that. well, see, I, I like the whole family here, a little international connection, and two ladies, co owners right here, kind of doing. Doing it on their own, having a good time right here. They're going to put me back in the kitchen. We're going to be making some more stuff right here. Now, Tara, is the weather going to be uh oh or ooh ooh today? <laughs> I guess ooh ooh. <laughs> Maybe I need to hear the definitions again. I'm going with the new ooh forecast. Yeah, looking so much better here at home, thankfully. On a Wednesday morning, Charlotte is a growing city, and it's also much more than what meets the eye. Contributor Mary Curtis joins us to scratch below the surface of the QC to take a deeper look. But first, Let's take a deeper look at the goodies at the bakery. Hello, Wilson. Oh, this is going to be good. I'm a Dolce Paradiso Bakery right here at Indian Trail. Ooh, chocolate. Yeah, it's only going to get better in just a little bit on Wilson's World. Thanks for watching Fox News Rising. Ooh. Now, well, Wilson has found a pretty sweet assignment this morning. He's an Indian Trail Dolce Paradiso Bakery. And I got to tell you, Wilson, I just want something with caramel or caramel for you to bring back for me. You gotta make up your mind, man. It's like pecan, pecan, it, it, caramel, uh, See, I, I say caramel, but then other people say caramel. So I don't know. That's a whole That's a whole Facebook thing that we're just not gonna get into. Thanks, Derek. Listen, hey, Wilson, we're all down here in the Indian Trail, and this is cool. Uh, two ladies got together, opened up this bakery. Don't tip at a so they got the opera playing here. None of them are Italian, though. Although, uh, she over here, Azab over here, spent some time in Italy, learned how to make all kinds of good stuff, and what, she's making some kind of horn thing over there. 
She's making a, a crazy horn. I don't know. She's going to put that in the oven here in just a second. I'm over here with Nancy right now. And Nancy, what are we getting ready to do right here? You've got some kind of pyramid thing here. Yeah, we call these chocolate pyramids. These are chocolate volcanoes. Chocolate um, volcanoes. Now, I've seen these. Uh -huh. People have actually come by this morning, even though you're not like officially open. Uh -huh. And these are pretty popular. Can, can, can I are. help you with the chocolate yes, pyramid? Yes, you can. Let me show you how you do this. Okay, show me how. We. This is a, another recipe that I... Uh, Procured? Well, where'd you find this recipe at? Who'd you, who'd you rip this off there from? There was Zoller's Bakery in Pittsburgh. Okay. When I was a little kid, we right. used to get these as a special treat. So you kind of roll that around in here. Okay, roll it around. Uh -huh. Okay, just you like this. You don't need to get it on the bottom. But the, oh, now you tell me. Now that I've already got I mean, it on the bottom. Well, it it's won't, okay. it won't hurt. So this is something you remember as a kid, huh? Yes, and so I tried to replicate it. Okay. And, uh, oh, you know what? I think, I think, so I think, I think I might have it here, there Nancy. You go. I think I might be pretty. Oh. Oh, close, I messed up a little close, on the side there. It's okay. Close, close enough. It's okay. Want okay, me to keep going? So yeah, keep going. When do I get to lick oh, my actually, fingers? Actually, uh, we want to se keep them separated because I put a different topping so we know which oh, one's chocolate. Oh, okay. We'll keep them separated. Which one's vanilla. So put okay. the vanilla ones vanilla over Vanilla ones over here. I'll do the vanilla. Okay. You do the chocolate. Okay. And this these is are... Like me and Zeb, vanilla and chocolate. So uh, what's it like for you, like remembering some of this stuff, your memories as a kid, to be able to now kind of, you know, oh, bring some of these back? It's so exciting. I send pictures of this stuff to my brothers and sisters, and I'm one of nine children. Yeah. And they're like, oh, my God. You're bringing those back, huh? So, so, is, so are these things that, you, that you've that made before? Or just, I, mean, I just, never made these before. No, and really? I, I never made the, uh, the buttercreams before either. Right. But, you know, I... Because you did toffee and everything before this, right? I made lone, started the Lone Cone Toffee business uh, in 1996 up in the mountains. Mountains of Colorado. Oh, wow. I was a single mom there and needed a uh, home based business. And you got it. Somebody shared me their toffee recipe. Very cool stuff. I tell you what, I'm going to finish making off some, ma making some of these chocolate volcano. Oh, my goodness. This Kinda is messy, such good. This is really good stuff. But listen, and we're going to tell you more about these guys. It's going to be on our web channel at foxcharlotte.com. Weather with Tara coming up, forecast on the forts. And don't forget that really cool interview with Steve Jones and Derek. Steve Jones from The X Factor. That's all coming up on Fox News Rising. Mm-mm, good. And Wilson is talking sweets this morning at a local bakery. Good morning. Hey, I am talking sweets, but get this, guys. Vinny just came by. He's on his way to school. He's got a school project. He's got a newspaper. He's actually interviewing me over brownies right now. So this could be the face of Fox News. Give him a couple years right here. I got to get back to my interview for a school newspaper. We're going to have some fun out here. More at the bakery and uh, more with Vinny coming up here. He's a big fan of the show. That's coming up on Fox News Rising. All right, go ahead. Next question. What's up?